adding parts to your inventory directly into Brick Link or Brick Out can be a pretty laborious task, kind of having to identify parts, count them, list them, upload them, add them to your store. There's a lot of clicks involved in that. And luckily Brick Store has a quick way of kind of getting to it with the use of a webcam. Or if you don't have a webcam, it still has a pretty quick and effective way of getting through parts and getting them in your store and on sale quicker. So let's take a quick look. First up, you're gonna need a new document. So just click new and away you go, you're in straight off. And then what you can do is use this menu at the top, which is the add items part. So you just click that and you are faced with this um, floating window, which pretty much runs through all of the parts, books, catalogs, gear, instructions, minifigures, boxes, parts or sets. So we're going to deal with parts for now. And then you've got two ways of doing this. One, you can do this manually. Um, for instance, um, let's go down to tiles. Oh, we were in tiles. And then you can click through the menu. So you've got uh, with groove, without groove, that kind of thing as you go through. And it gives you this little description down here in the bottom left. So we're looking at two by fours and uh, then revert to this menu on the right hand side. Now you can have most popular colors. You know, you can filter this any which way you want. Um, if you're kind of good with colors, then the quick way of doing this is to just kind of use all colors and scroll through. So you've got everything in access at once. So let's say I've got four of these dark blue grayish tiles. Um, you just enter four in there. If you want to add any comments or remarks, you add it here. Um, my tiles live in, let me just see what that says, 2L29. But as you will have seen in the previous video about how to merge your kind of um, remarks from your existing store file, you can do that later at this way. And then you simply add, and there it is, it appears in your listing. Now, the other way you can do that is by using a webcam. I'll show you my webcam. There it is, pretty cheap. I think it was about $50 from JB Hi-Fi. It's not particularly high resolution. And in fact, when you're looking through the camera in the next window that you'll see, the resolution isn't fantastic. It's you. It's designed for a bigger depth of field, I think. But Brick and Eyes is still fantastically accurate at finding the bricks. So click your camera mode, and up comes this item scanner preview window, and you can have that any size you like. Now, they'll tell you that's obviously the type of webcam I'm using, and you can change the item type through here as well if you've kind of forgotten to change it. And all you do is stick your part onto the camera and click. And up it comes. Brick and Eyes kind of goes through and finds it. Those are the trans neon green, is it? Trans light green? No, trans bright green. Yes, trans bright green. And I've got three of those. And I know they're in a T something or other over there, but um, I'll not worry about the remarks at this stage. And you add those to the file. And so you can go on. Um, it's pretty it's pretty incredible, kind of the detail it can get. Uh, for instance, uh, here is a um, printed tile. And it picks it up without any problem. So there's two types of this brick. There are, and this one is that one that I'm using. So that's a dark blue gray tile. And when you get the right color, the preview panel down here on the left shows you the actual part, just so you kind of can be sure you've got the right part. If that remains a blank or with a red square, um, you've not got the right color. And sometimes I'll jump back into um, Bricklink using this part number to double check the color if I'm in any doubt. So let's just add that. And so you can go on, kind of um, all the parts that you want to add, you can just work through it. See how fuzzy that was, kind of, but it still picked it up. Uh, I've got a pearl 
gold one of those just one of those and I've just noticed that I made a mistake so just moving that side you see how I kind of put three of those when I only got one so I'll just go back in and change that to one and then of course as everyone knows you kind of select everything you want and then you can do the pricing variance however you want that to be done there it is and it comes and then you do the same kind of as you would for any inventory upload out of brick store with a file export mass upload to XML into Bricklink and that's it dead easy it allows you to really rapidly get through a large volume of parts and saves you thousands of clicks trying to find the categories and parts within Bricklink Hope that's helpful. If it is, please feel free to like and subscribe and be sure to uh, get notifications when the next how-to guide comes out. Thanks for watching.